Hey guys, Fox up here with another live game commentary. <sighs> it's not being good for us recently, has it? Sorry I didn't upload a video yesterday, guys. I was working harder on a different kind of video for my main channel, and I was also streaming. If you guys miss out on my full gameplays on this channel, just go and watch my stream, twitch.tv slash foxshop. I'll see loads of live gameplays on the stream. Um, but yeah, I think we are now negative win rate, guys, on this account. Not good. Not good at all. But I do keep playing stuff that I can't play. Kind of also including Elise. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can play Elise. She's a she's a really solid jungler right now, in my opinion. She's really good. And especially on this team, we had no AP threat. So I figured I would want to maybe try something uh, with a bit more AP upside. Because, I mean, if I just played an AD champion and then we have like Yasuo mid and Yorick top and stuff, it's going to be a bit of a problem. So I'll just pick some AP and, you know, hopefully through that it will be an easier option to go overall for my team. So runes and masteries, guys, for at least jungle, AD red, sorry, I would actually go attack speed reds, AP blues, AP quints, and like armor, health, level yellows. And for your masteries, go 12, 18, 0 with Thunderlord's Decree. I, would, I think Elise is like, she's a really strong meta jungler, and I think overall, a good way to think about Elise is to think of her as a, kind of like a, an AP Lee Sin to a certain extent. Not not quite like that, but do you know what I mean? Like, as far as like what she brings to the table, it's somewhat similar. Like, she's really good in the early game. She's a really good ganker. She has a lot of, like, pressure and presence. And uh, she's always just like, she's really hard to play against. I, I think she can be quite annoying to play against. If you get, if you're playing against like a good Elise player, if you play versus a good least player, you know about it. <laughs> you definitely know about it. Anyway, so at this point in the game, I've got my double bus level 3 clear. I do it relatively fast because Elise clears quite fast. And at that point, I'm also just staring at the lanes, seeing what's going on. Seeing what lanes are where, what they're doing. So it looks like Gragas actually started topside and did a full clear topside. So that's information that I've got at least. Uh, yeah, because like this, this ground here would insinuate that Talia actually leashed. Gragas at the blue buff. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to swing in. I'm going to repel onto the minion. Looks like she's going for the Yasuo. So she should be pretty donezo here. There it is. Goodbye. First blood. Bonk. Excellent stuff. So you always want to keep your eyes on the lanes to see where you can do things. Who you can play against. Who you can gank. That kind of stuff. And like that invade there. I don't see Gragas. I don't get anything onto Gragas. But it's all information. Now we know that he's around the bot side. Or we know that he's kind of around the bot side. At least we'll put it that way. Which he is. That's a pretty shit cocoon. Not going to lie. I'm not going to chase him too hard. Because his whole team is around here. But you know. Just going to annoy him a little bit. Put that one down. I see that it's not warded in the try there. So I might actually try <laughs> and do something. Oh wow, he actually just bopped me during... Oh my goodness, this guy's out playing me like a mofo, what the hell? Disgusting, disgusting! He eed my Q. Genuinely, he eed my Q. This is actually happening. What the fuck is this game, man? <laughs> Alright, you know what, I'm just gonna chill here. So he, he body slammed my spider form Q and interrupted it. And then... Just like wrecked me. Sidestepped my cocoon like a scripter. I'm not saying he's scripting by the way. But it was like perfect is what I'm saying. Move out of it. Move out of it. Oh my goodness. Nice. Pretty good cocoon there. Not going to lie. Phew. If you cocoon Gragas like that. It means he can't activate his his barrel. Perfect stuff. Alright. So this has been a good, a decent start to the game. I need to respect this Gragas a bit. This guy seems to be a pretty good player. Oh you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Caden, don't make him angry. You won't like him when he's angry. So let's go ahead and clear this uh, bot side jungle here just because I'm, I'm in the area, I may as well, and then I'll be able to recall and uh, get some items in my first back. At least, like I say, in, is an AP focused champion, so you want to be buying AP focused items. And the best ones, in my opinion, are your blue or red smite with uh, runic echoes. Oh my goodness, not, tower shot was not what you wanted there, Yasser, yeah, mate. <laughs> And then you'll go for, I'm going to go for boots here as well. But you, you want to go for like your runic echoes with whatever whatever smite item that, that entails with that stalker's blade or, or, does he have TP? Good. Stalker's blade or, or skirmish's saber, one of those two. 
And actually, Protobelt is really common on the lease nowadays as well. I think Protobelt is really decent. So I'll probably be getting Protobelt as well. I'm going to take these chickens here, and then I'll probably head down to mid and just hold that minion wave, provided that Yasuo doesn't get there before me. I don't want to steal the minions from him, but if it's free, I'll take it. Gragas is in my jungle here. He can probably go for this here if he stays. Interesting. But again, like, decent invade by that guy because it gives him information. He knows where I am now because he's, he spotted me out. He's not going to achieve anything. Whoops, which is good. But still. It doesn't really put me under much pressure, but at the same time, like, even... Like, something that's a bit underrated about a play like that is that it... It makes you think about the enemy jungler more. It makes me think now that whenever I'm in my jungle, I'm just going to be like, hmm, I wonder if Gragas is here. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm always going to be respecting this guy. So, it's a pretty good kind of psychological play, I guess you could say, to an extent. But, either way, it's all good. I'm going to move over to my blue buff and take this away as well. Gragas side of his blue buff, as we saw, so he should be around the top side. Shouldn't be around here, but something that was, that was very... Oh wow, he's already on it. What the fuck, this kid, man? Can we not get these? Yeah, we can get this. Yasuo is coming in. Fuck it. Let's go for it, boys. Let's go for it, boys. No? Oh, Tully is there. Fuck. What is wrong with this Gragas, man? Why would you invade me like that? Well, actually, you invade me like that because your bot lane just got a double kill. Alright, fair enough. That makes sense. I actually thought Yasuo would be able to come around and we'd get him there. I, I kind of failed on, like, I think I could have smited it or, or stolen it. I didn't expect him to leave it on like 10 health. But still, it kind of sucks. I'm going to go for Moby Boots this game, I think. Let's get a bit of speed coming through. Not having the best showing of things from this bot lane, sadly, this game. That's okay, it means I can get this guy's blue buff. All good. Yeah, but thankfully Yorick got a kill top as well. Now Yorick, Yorick did die beforehand top lane, which really sucks for me, um, because I now had a bot lane that was dying as well. So when I have a bot lane and like two, like two lanes are just like solo losing, yeah, that's really bad. But if they're not solo losing, like if, if now that I've got Yorick doing things, that's really good. I'm not going to smite this. I don't think I need to. So it's got dragon, which means I can still count jungle the sky more if I want to. Which we will. There we go. I could show up mid here as well. I'm a little bit hesitant just because of Gragas could be around here. Holy shit. Like I said, Gragas would be here. Good thing I didn't repel in. This is why I wanted to be a little bit more cautious with that play. Uh, I don't have my smite, but I don't think I need it here. I'll have to recall, but I should be okay still. This Gragas, thankfully, though, doesn't isn't like really high in levels right now, which is good. He's he's making a few plays, but he's not really. He's not, he's not like really far ahead in that sense. But he's, honestly, this is this is probably the the, the best jungler I've played against on this account. He's he's quite aggressive and it's good because, I don't know, it, he's just, he's getting away with it really, I suppose. Not, I don't say he's getting away with it like he's playing stupidly <laughs> and getting away with it. He's getting away with it as in like, he's understanding his limitations or not really his limitations, but he's understanding what plays are open to him. And he's taking those plays. It took my whole bot side jungle as well. Like this guy is just on it, man. But still, this is this is a pretty greedy, I think. I'm not sure I like this play by him here. Nice. I might be dead here though. I'm just gonna flash just in case. Nice. Don't know where Talia is. There she is. Wait, Callista killed Yasuo? And Caitlyn? What? Oh, she juked down. How did she... Callista ain't even that low, man. That was a pretty quick combo there. Oh, 
Beautiful stuff. We played that really well. Holy shit. Callista is not going to let me kill her here for free though, is she? Oh my goodness. I smited, I smited the wrong one. No one saw that. Tried to go for the E smite. Like Lee Sin's Q smite. But I smited the wrong one. Uh, if I get my repel here, I actually think I can kill her here. My repel is almost up, so... I'm just zone off the tower. Like, I don't want to do anything too sexy here. Gragas is top lane as well. It's fine. Alright. Good shit. I'm going to recall here because I think I can get my runic echoes. I guess I'll get red smite this game. You know what? Why has she got another one? What the fuck is this? This Kalissa is crazy, man. What the hell is this girl doing? She's used two wards just so I can stomp them. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. There's Gragas. Level 6 Gragas. I wonder if I can sneak into this bush here. What's Blitzcrank doing? Hello? Hello? Okay. Never mind. <sighs> Never mind. God damn it, Gragas. Sorry, you're not Gragas. You're Blitzcrank. Here we go, boys. So I'm going to combo my stun there with the Blitzcrank knockup. It's really hard. F oh my god. It's really hard to land your cocoon sometimes, especially against people like Callista. So whenever you've got a skill shot that's like a like a high priority skill shot, I guess you could say. Something that you need to land. For example, uh, like, like Lee Sing Q, Elise Cocoon. It's always best to combo it with already existing CC. So that it reduces the chance that you miss it. But like, it's really hard for me to miss a cocoon if I'm casting it on someone that's knocked up by Blitzcrank, for example. And that's the best way to go about things. I'm just going to throw my spider, just my spiderling out there and then run away. I don't really feel like I'm in a position where I can hold that mid lane too well. And I really need to go and shop because i got so much gold. So we're going to go ahead and go and buy some things here. Marik Echoes. And like I say, Proto Belt is coming up next as well. I think I can afford the... Yeah, this is a really good buy for me then. I have a lot of damage with this build now. I just, but I'm still very, very squishy. So, got to be careful of that. Still got to be careful of that. This Kragus has taken a lot of my jungle though. I, I'm, honestly, I'm enjoying this game, man. This Kragus, I feel like, is a worthy adversary, if I can put it that way. He's smart. He never lets anything go for free. If he ever sees me in the bot side jungle, he'll go, or like, bot side of the map, he goes top side. And like takes my jungle or something. He's quite good at counter countering plays. He's he's a smart jungler in my opinion. He's playing well. And it's in, it's, it's a good game. So I kind of want to be around bot side because I know, yeah. If these guys are fighting, I want to be around, it, around them here. I know my red buff spawning, but I'd obviously much rather counter a play than... There it is. That's fine. Just run away here. That's Poppy. Whoa, this is a late TP. Okay. What the fuck? This guy was going to TP. He should have done this a lot earlier, in my opinion. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I landed on the Poppy's Q. Unfortunate. Nice. Bit of a late TP by, by the Yorick there, but... All in all, that's not too bad. She, If she wants to do this, she needs to not do that. Okay, I think she could have actually maybe killed Callista there. Uh, it, it, I think if she just, like, E'd into Callista, I think she could have probably killed. Like, she had red buff and, like, a headshot prop. She probably could have just killed Callista. So I'm going to make the decision here of going to my top side jungle, clearing this out a little bit, and then heading down bot side. But the dragon is up, so this becomes, like, a slightly risky play. So I guess I'd rather just run down to the dragon, right? I don't know, though, because I don't even know if we're around to really contest it. I, like, I think we are, though. If, they, if they're already starting it, I'm not sure if they are, but are they? I think they are. Yeah, they are. This is fine. They're really low here. 
Nice, good shit. Let me get the honey fruit here. Oh my goodness, I bloody... Holy shit. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say about that one. This is still a really easy steal from Gragas though. Please do not let me tank this. Yeah. Gragas, mate, I swear down. If you kill me here... Oh! <gasps> my spiderlings! <laughs> how am I alive? I do not know how I'm alive. <laughs> He even flashed for that. I do not know how I'm alive. But okay. I do not know how I'm alive here. Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. Whew. I honestly, like, I thought my repel was up. I, I genuinely thought my repel was up there. So I thought when he came into me and I was like, why is my opponent working? I thought I was dead. I thought it was 100% done though, because I was like, oh god, no. I was like, no, it's over. But no, that's good shit. That's good shit. Let's keep farming here. Like, it's okay to spend a lot of time like killing lanes and stuff. In fact, it's good to do that. But you still need to like just not fall behind. Or like not stay behind. And so it's good every now and then just to take a camp or two. Because the way rubber band mechanics work in this game, if you're behind and you take a camp, you get like a whole bunch of extra experience. She's really fast. That's her passive, right? Yeah, I should just be going bot here. I shouldn't be trying to get mid, really. But then again, it makes Gragas... Oh, he's at Gragas is actually going topside. That is surprising. Oh, no, they are here. Yeah, predict, predict the jump there. Gonna E out just in case she wants to to rend me. And there we go. So Gragas goes top, Gragas gets a kill on the Yorick, but we go bot, we get two kills. Also probably gonna get the dragon and maybe the tower here as well. I think one person should defend mid. Yeah, Yas is going mid, that's fine. We'll take the dragon here and then we'll go and take uh, bot lane tower, I think. Just come take bot, you numpties. I should have said something. I did ping, but I should have like typed in chat like bot after this or something like that, you know. Because I feel like we could have... Like, we would have had a bigger minion wave here as well to work with. Gragas is still topside, so... It's not like we have to worry about too much here. Talia's coming down though. Run, 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 run. I I think we could have gotten that if we'd gone earlier. But that's okay. I mean, having to waste that flash isn't great, but overall it's not too bad. This uh, Blitzcrank's got an interesting build, though. He's rushing the tier. Now, that's actually something which you never really see, but it's something that I think... I saw it a little bit in Season 5. I think it was Season 5, at least. I don't know if it was Season 5 or Season 6. I'm pretty sure it was Season 5, though. But I wouldn't really recommend the tier build anymore because there's so many good support items that you kind of have to buy on Gragas now, uh, on Blitzcrank nowadays. That getting the tier, it's just a bit too selfish. Like Redemption, Locket, Knight's Vow are all good choices to go on Blitzcrank. Uh, I kind of want to be a bit tankier here, but there's a lot of AP damage on their team as well. But I'm probably going to go Dead Man's Plate. Just YOLO that shit. I guess I could go random wins as well if I wanted to. But I'll get a little bit tankier here and then I'll probably just get maybe a bit more AP as well after that. I could even go Leandries if I wanted to. But I want to, I just want to make sure I don't like instantly die to things right now. I need to kill these chickens here. Not only do I get gold for killing these, especially in this patch, the mini chickens are worth quite a lot. So it's good to take the chickens where you can. But... More importantly, what I was worried about there... I'm not going to throw my cocoon out on this guy. Maybe I should have done. More importantly, what I was worried about there is the fact that... 
if I want to sit in that position and go for maybe like a like like a pick or something, I need needs to land a cocoon over the wall, and I can't do that if chickens are there. Oh my goodness, my easy smart car. Sorry, really fuck, I had no idea. Huh? I was trying to prep it. Wait, wait, wait. Are we? Oh god, we're actually fighting. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There it is. I used to be really careful about when I jump in here. Like, I can't actually jump in on Poppy, by the way. I don't know if you know, but Poppy's... Fuck. What? Oh, I can get out. Poppy's uh, W blocks your Q in spider form. Oh, okay, you're gonna get Nami at something. Donald Trump is going to wreck us in the back line, though. Ah! Uh... <laughs> oh, this is terrible. How did we lose this? Uh, actually, I know how we lost this. Caitlin got caught by the Talia W, of all things. How do you get caught by Talia W? <laughs> Talia W. I'm pretty sure it's W, right? Yeah, I think it is. A little fist that pops up on the ground. It has a tiny range. The thing itself is really small. And it has like an activation time, so it can't just like immediately launch and kill you either. How does it, how do you get caught by that? Well, if you're brain AFK, that's how you get caught by that. Oh my goodness, fuck you, Gragas. Uh, that's a flash. Didn't mean for it to be a flash, but that is a flash. Got him. I really misplayed that, but that's fine because he's dead. <laughs> This is why you go Proto Belt and Red Smite. So in the end, I can just say, oh yeah, I use my flash for Gragas to kill Gragas. It's worth it. Even though my flash did absolutely nothing there and I just fat fingered it by mistake. So whatever, really. As long as you don't tell anyone that part and you just tell them about the part where you use it to kill someone, then it's fine. Okay. Crap, my pro belt was up. I think I could have killed her there. Unfortunately, I couldn't get into spider form either. I got chain CC'd. Oh, I didn't realize because I had that ult down. That was that was my bad. I shouldn't have died like that, really. Uh, I am... I'm not sure if I want to go dead man's or if I want to go... I'm gonna, I'm just going to go dead man's this game. I think dead man's overall as an item is better. How are we dying like this? <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Come on, boys. I guess I shouldn't talk though, my death was pretty bad as well. At least, at least they use an ultimate to kill me, I don't know how these guys are dying. Just fighting or some shit, I honestly don't know. Alright, these guys are going to be looking towards going for a Baron soon, I'm pretty sure. Kalista does it very fast, they just kill two people. Alright, there it is, let's see if we can stop this one, boys. Right, they're not doing it particularly fast, that's fine. When does this thing die? What the hell? Oh shit, I'm retarded. It's Callista, of course, I can't smite that. Uh, Callista smites, like, her Ren smites like 1300 health. No way you're gonna be able to get that one. Yeah, this bot lane just popped off this game, didn't they? We actually killed bot lane a lot as well, I feel like. I feel like we were a bot a lot this game. I feel like... I think most of my kills this game came from bot lane. So we certainly did some good stuff in this bot, and... Still, it's just... I don't know. <clears throat> I think it's a bit... Unfortunate to have a bot lane that's... Like, the enemy... So for the enemy bot lane to be this strong, you'd think that you must have just, like... You know, you had, like, a DC... Like, your bot lane was DC'd, and then... They just like could do whatever they want at all times, which really wasn't the case. The enemy bot lane was actually really, really, really hunting the enemy bot lane this game. Yeah, this game's over. Holy moly, Callista, mate. You are strong. Big, strong Callista. I mean, can Spooky's not chase you through the gate? I find that a bit surprising. That's good, though.
Uh, I'm not sure there's any potential to defend here, honestly, but I guess we can try. I land the cocoon, there it is. No. Oh, wow, I'm alive. How am I alive? Nice. I got a kill, boys. I did it. All right. That was a bit unfortunate, I guess. I wonder how we win that game. Maybe I need to put more focus on the bot lane, like, from early on. But I think that's all hindsight stuff. Because I think, in theory, we played this game pretty well. We had like the joint high score on our team. We had a few bad deaths. I, I think I think that's the biggest thing we need to take away from this game. Isn't necessarily like how we played the game itself. I think the game itself was fine. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it was just like an unlucky game, really. I think we did fairly well this game, but the the biggest things were the deaths we had. The first death I had was just like, you know. I don't know, that was just a dumb death. When I got invaded by Gragas, he took my boon, so I was angry and tried to kill him. And then I got collapsed on by the enemy bot lane. <sighs> yeah, that was um, that was just bad. Um I got caught by Calissa with her ulti as well. That was that was a that was a really bad death. Um The Baron death is like silly, but I don't think it means anything. But still, I, I think those are the things we could we can like crack down on because I, I think like the, especially the baron play the fire dragon was up the infernal was up and i think if we secure the infernal then you know if i'm just like okay well that baron's gone we can't fight that baron that baron's done so instead of trying to try and do something to the baron which is just like 100 percent down maybe i should just go and do something to the like just get get the fire dragon you know just, just trade back objectives like that i think i should have done that instead so there were a few like I think I I would argue a, there were like a f um a, a few like little things that we could have changed, but but I I feel like the way we played the the game itself overall was fine. I would argue that we got first blood, we did good invades, and I mean we con I feel like we contributed a lot that game. What was the so I had fourteen kill participation, and my team had twenty kills. Yeah, so pretty high kill participation as well. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. I may need to just start spamming, like, Lee Sin and, and stuff to start getting my ELO back up because I'm 18 wins and 21 losses, which is not a good win-loss uh, at all. For context, this is a Plat, plat 5 account uh, with 18 wins and 21 losses. My stream account, which I even play like shit on that account as well, it is Plat 4. And you can't see my win loss, but similarly, I have 31 wins, and I believe I actually have the same losses, 21 losses. So my my stream account, which is the same elo, I just have 10 more wins and losses because I'm boosted. What are you gonna do? Anyway, thanks for watching the video, boys and girls. May need to start playing. Well, I don't know. That game was fine. The least game was fine. We'll see. We'll see whether or not I. Holy shit! One, two, three, four, five, six losses in a row. Is that real? Or fake. Oh my goodness. We've lost so many games. A lot of these games as well. I'm not like. My scores are pretty good. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not even. The hell? How am I losing these games? 837. 5514. 87. 1 and 2. This was an AFK game. Holy shit. I'm actually not even playing that bad. I just need to like... I, I need to find a way to like close the games, I think. I think that's my problem. So in in my last... Let's make this sound as bad as possible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 games. I've won 3. I've won 3 and 12. 3 and 12. Oh my god. Bloody hell. Holy shit. That is awful. Alright, anyway, guys, I'm out now. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, cheeky thumbs up. Uh, you can subscribe to me for more gameplays, more or less daily, more or less. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching, boys and girls. Have a good one. And I will see you in my next video.